Welcome everybody to the K Zoom Borderline Too Much Fun podcast. I, for a second, I had to think about the, the name. We're calling it. It's a long name, yeah. but it's it's true. I, I wrote it down three times this morning so that I can remember it. <laughs> so, I'm Jordan, and uh, I do video here at K Zoom, and I'm here with Matt, who is our SEO wizard. I think that's on your business card, wizard. I don't. It should be. I don't think so. Should be. But I wouldn't object. Yeah. Should be. I would, yeah. We're we're talking about brainstorming today, and and there's some probably people here that are like, I love brainstorming, and then there's majority of people that are like, I don't like brainstorming that much, because I just don't. You don't know how to do it right. That's my thought. Yeah. The brainstorming is a is a skill like any other skill. You you need to hone it over many years. Yeah. You have to practice having ideas. Y- yeah. You you do. You do. Mm-hmm. It is. It's a skill. Ideas. Yeah, they, they come to you, but but you got to practice how to communicate, communicate them. them. Package them. Package yes. them into a useful yes. thing. When I think about brainstorming, uh, this applies to any any idea that a business is trying to, to think of, whether that's like a marketing idea, ways to get employees in, c- community involvement, like any idea. If you're looking to brainstorm, if you're looking for feedback or creative uh, like creative ideas, brainstorming, I think, is the, the tool that you would use to, to come up with it. So I, there's like a couple a couple things I think that you need to do in order to, to brainstorm effectively. And that like the first thing is you have to have the right mindset to brainstorm. I think too many people, they tend to be closed minded when it, when it comes to brainstorming and they, they're, they're quick to uh, say yes or no, or there's there's not they're not free to voice their opinions. Yeah. Now you need to set up a space or a time to say, this is our brainstorming time. This yeah. is where you ideas- You collect can, ideas yes. without thinking about filtering them first. Yes. You just gotta get them all. When when you shut someone down, I feel like they, they are less likely to come out with other ideas. And so like if, if, it's, if, if you set the precedent early of we accept ideas, and sometimes the dumbest ideas have the most traction. Oh, we, we're going to get to that. Yeah. We're going to get to that. The, set, the first part is like, who's going to be brainstorming? Where are you going to be brainstorming? You need to have the right mindset to brainstorm of, okay, we need to be open, not closed uh, to ideas. Uh, the second is how you go about sharing those ideas. Like, how does the brainstorming process work? So what, what, are, what are some things that you think of that help brainstorming sessions? Quiet. Mm-hmm kind of a, a collection of people around yep. a, a communal space. Mm-hmm. Um, I think you got to like assign roles to people maybe mm-hmm. so that they know what they're doing. Like, like one person writing, recording the, the ideas, yeah. yep. you know, somebody sorting the ideas into yep. categories. Yeah. yeah. And I think this, this is, it's helpful when everyone goes in knowing this is a specific brainstorming session mm-hmm. so that there's expectations mm-hmm. set of what needs to happen during that session. Now, whether that looks like you're around the table, we're only brainstorming for 30 minutes, we need three ideas, you know? Yeah. Maybe the the three ideas, maybe you don't have the three ideas at the end of the meeting, but you have a collection of ideas. You have 60 ideas. Maybe you have 60 ideas. Yeah. And then maybe you schedule, this is part of the brainstorming session, I think ideas need time. Yeah, so like you they can't have to percolate. Yeah, you don't you don't necessarily need to come up with an idea in the first brainstorming session. I think a lot of people You don't have to come up with a good idea. You're right. First you're right. You have to come up with a bunch of ideas. Yes. Yes. I and think And then you let them sit. When when people say we need an idea at the end of this session, that's when it's like uh maybe maybe that all the ideas that we've come up with are not the right ones. Yeah. So I'd say sharing ideas Write them down. Write down everything. Yes. Whether it's good or bad. Yeah. You know, and I think this this is this kind of goes into our last section of like, don't don't filter ideas. Yeah. Don't give preference to good ideas over bad ideas. Uh, yeah, I would agree with that. Because I think good ideas are common, and bad ideas are unique in their own stupid way. Mm-hmm. And you can sometimes turn that into something very valuable. I think of it like this, like. One person might say something. Mm. Now the the collective might say, instantly think, that's not the idea. That's not yeah. the right idea, or that's not a good idea. Uh, but one person, it only takes one person to to think, okay, maybe that maybe that wasn't a a, a good idea, but maybe there was some truth to that. There's the seed of a There's great a idea. There's a seed of a great idea, and it only yeah. takes one person to do that. So if yep. you cut off that that initial that initial idea, 
right from the start, that seed never, never grows. I mean, we both like movies. Oh, yeah. You know, being John Malkovich, dumbest idea for a movie ever made. It was a joke in Hollywood. Oh, yeah. And it won awards. It's great. It's a great movie. Exactly. You know, you got to go in with with the idea that any idea could potentially be that seed. It could be the winner. Could be the seed that, you know, bounces off a couple times, you know, maybe come back to it. I would say another another uh, tip is don't spend too long on one idea. Yeah. Because if, if, you, if you have 30 minutes to come up with ideas and spend 10, 15 minutes flushing out, fleshing out an idea, yeah. then you just wasted 10, 15 minutes of idea time. Yeah. And don't shame ideas. No, no. You know, because the person who presents a terrible idea right now could present the best idea later. But yes. if they're ashamed to share their opinion, you may never hear it. That that's important. I think if people feel like they have the ability to share, yeah, and not get laughed, laughed at, at yeah. not be scorned or, or or saying like you know that that idea doesn't matter. We're yeah. talking broad here, and it's hard to to put this in into specifics. Yeah. We almost need to come up with a, like a a brainstorming session. If we had time, we'd just do a little brainstorming yeah. session now. The power of the bad idea. I, I think we can we can't touch on this enough. Where if a bad idea exists. I would say fully committing to a bad idea is better than half of a team committing to an idea. For sure. That is better. Yeah. Yeah. I think effort and commitment go a lot further than a good idea. So if you can get if you can rally a team behind an idea, yeah. and that's what that's half the brainstorming session purpose is to not only get ideas, but to rally people around an idea. Behind one because when yeah. when you when you come out of a session and you don't have an idea, that's still a that's still a valuable session. Yeah. And then when you come out with an idea that everyone is behind, you feel like you've, you've, you're on the mountaintop right yeah. there. Yeah. Even though you haven't done anything except for that idea. That's the hardest part sometimes, though. Oh yeah. Finding the good idea is kind of the hardest the hardest part. Like because as far as execution, you know, at least for our team, everybody has their role and everybody's very good at their role, so it's not necessarily difficult for them to do the thing. But to come up with a thing, yeah, it takes everyone exactly, and it's hard. And and a little warning here: tangents will happen. Yeah, like, and I think and it's okay to do that. Like, if if there's an idea that you think, well, it's just an example. When we were coming up with our April Fool's video a couple of years a couple of years ago, mm-hmm. our 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 K Loom, mm-hmm. uh, I think we probably spent. 20 minutes talking about what K loom could look like if it meant the weaving loom, like thread yarn okay. loom. Yeah. Like could Dan Just bring leaning in into the, the yeah. pun? Could aspect. Dan could Dan bring in a goat? Like could we get a loom? Yeah. Could we start making yarn like wool shirts? You guys went down there. We road. we went down that path for for a decent amount of time, um, but we needed to to figure out if it was. Va- like valuable or not, and yeah. I think that might have been the first idea with K Loom, and then because of the name, we thought of another word, like another yeah. another meaning to that. Yeah, and that's how that K Loom idea came ab- about. Yeah, and I think that holds for a lot of things. Like if you're if you're asked to come up with like come up with a good idea, I think your first five off the cuff ideas are going to be garbage every time. Mm. And I think once you get those obvious like things that everybody would have thought of out of the way then you open up more space for like clever ideas. So I think you got to purge the bad ideas anyway. Mm-hmm. So you got to get them all out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've had many bad ideas. Yeah, I love and them. And you, you can't have, you, you got to have thick skin when it comes to ideas. Yeah. Because yeah. If, if, if you don't, then you're never going to share ideas. Yeah. I used to carry around a pad of paper and write down every idea that I had. And then, like, a few years later, I'd find it, and I'd, it'd just be, like, a, the most nonsense No, Like, yeah, I have no idea. Like, what is bicycles for pickles? No clue. No. Yeah, like, exactly. Well, you're on to something here. Yeah, I, yeah <laughs> maybe I was at the time. <laughs> so Air, Airbnb and Uber, crazy ideas. Yeah. At 20, 20, 30 years ago, like, people would just be like, yeah, that's what taxis are. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Yeah, that's what a hotel is. Yeah. Talking about crazy ideas, there's a. I'm sure everybody's heard of Liquid Death. If you don't know, it's it's bottled water 
Uh, it's not bottled. It's canned water. Mm-hmm. It's, not even bottled. it's not bottled. It's canned water. And the story behind it, I guess, is the the, the founder uh, was was big into music, and and, and the musicians and at music festivals were always you know sponsored by by Monster, these energy drink companies. But the musicians didn't want to drink Monster or or any of these Red Bulls or any of these energy drinks. They they put water in these cans so that they could be hydrated during the, the sets yeah. and the shows. Uh, so that idea stemmed uh, an idea for the founder of Liquid Death to put water in a can and actually brand it as water. Make it look cool. Yeah. yeah. Make make the can look cool and it just have water yep. for music festivals. Mm-hmm. So yeah, commitment to a crazy idea mm-hmm. worked out for him. I mean, they're literally just the affliction t-shirt of bottled water brands. There you go. That's a deep cut that I don't know if I know. You got Google. I got Google. I'll Google. Google. Yeah, yeah you, you exactly. Can. One thing I I think is is paramount to the brainstorming session, and it kind of goes along with the mindset of having the time and space and and understanding of what brainstorming is. But you need you need the patience to to weather a storm of ideas that initially might be bad, or your yeah. gut reaction is these are bad ideas. Why are we brainstorming? Yeah. I mean, if you have an hour meeting for brainstorming, count on the first half hour being pretty much all bad ideas. I would, I yeah, think. I would say so. Yeah. And if you get lucky and the first couple ideas are decent, yeah. then keep coming up with bad ideas. Yeah. Because you never know. Yeah. You might come up with a better one based on a bad idea. So patience, respect. Um, Forti- fortitude. Fortitude, strength, honor. Heart. Valor. Spirit. Uh Hunger, thirst, thirst, yeah, thirst for bad yeah, ideas. Oxygen. The lifeblood of a business is bad ideas. Yeah, I don't know if I could say that, but you could say it. I could say it. I did say you it. Did say it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thanks for listening to us talk about bad ideas uh, here at the K Zoom Borderline Too Much Fun podcast. I think I had too much fun. Yeah. I was right at the edge there. You're you're, you're at the border? I was was right on the border. All right. Well, join us next time as we uh, explore things, ideas, deep questions. (laughs)